Okay, I'm sure you heard of this name. I think Dr. Lee is quite famous now. If you are not familiar with this name, you can always Google him. The reason I did a sentiment analysis based on these two hashtags is to illustrate to my students, especially those in the social sciences, that it's not a bad idea to learn how to code in open source programs like R and Python. And I apologize beforehand if I offended anybody. So, these was over the number of tweets I was able to collect on these dates. And as you can see, the number of tweets drastically increased on the day of Dr. Lee's passing, then it drastically declined afterwards. And it's the same thing for here. The number of tweets for this hashtag peak on the 7th, the day Dr. Lee passed away, then it declined drastically. Even though I did a Twitter search based on this Chinese hashtag, but I limited my search to English tweets. And as you can see, even though people are, are still quite upset with Dr. Lee's passing, the sentiments tended to be more on the negative side, but they are not too extreme. They are only a few extreme tweets. On both sides. Most, most of these sentiments are close to the neutral score and as we can see from here, the shorter the word count, the more extreme the sentiment score on both sides for some reason. And it's the same thing with this. Even though people around the world are still quite upset with Dr. Lee's passing, the sentiments tended to be more skewed to the negative side. But there are only a few extreme sentiments on both sides. And as is the case with this hashtag, Usually, shorter tweets have more extreme sentiments for some reason. And these are the sentences from Twitter feeds with top sentiment scores. And these are the sentences from Twitter feeds with top emotion scores. And here are the top emotion types associated with this hashtag. The top three emotions for this hashtag were fear, trust, and joy. And these are the top emotion types associated with this hashtag.